Post Office in Lake Hill, number 3929 on 212. They beat the Woodstock somebody's one, three, and five. Important All right, sorry for the uh, late start here. We're gonna, we won't do an official full town hall today, um, but I did wanna come say hi to everybody and uh, update you from Harrisburg Community College. I am at the Fire Academy down with nine of um, our Scranton firefighters who are training. We got the opportunity to do some training with them today. Uh, it was an incredible experience. I was really scared going into it. Um, we actually were in this um, flash simulator, flashover simulator, where there was a fire inside, um, and we were on the floor watching it. Uh, if there is ever a moment where I started to remember all of the fire safety training from when I was a kid, and then listening um, to the trainers here, uh, really, really just reminds you how um, how quickly um, a fire can consume a home, and and how important it is that we have firefighters out there every single day, um, right there to save lives if needed. That smoke comes through so quickly um, and gets to the floor so quickly. So um, we've been talking um, fire safety for um, well, the fire department was always talking about fire safety. This summer, um, we did our uh, smoke detector installation program. We're continuing to do that. Uh, really, after literally just being in that box um, full of smoke, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to um, make sure you have a smoke detector, a working smoke detector in your house. Do not turn it off because it's annoying if you're you're cooking and um, and that, that smoke detector goes off. That smoke can kill you so quickly. It can hurt and kill your family so quickly. So uh, we do have that smoke detector program. Um, we'll have the team uh, in the fire department repost that and keep reposting that. Our fire department will go to your house and install a smoke detector for you. You just need to let us know. So we'll get that email up. Um, we want to be able to help you as much as we can to make sure that all those fire uh, detectors are installed. Um, in terms of regular updates, uh, we've got uh, some new guidance from the governor that we've expanded um, numbers for outdoor and indoor events. Those are on the website. Um, but I would ask that people can, you know, to please continue to use caution. Um, increased capacity for events doesn't mean that COVID isn't here. We all know it's here. We got to continue to wear the mask, social distance, try not to have, you know, excessive gatherings or, you know, meetings that you don't need to have. Uh, we're still very much in this. We're seeing numbers continue to go up in various places, um, including Pennsylvania. So please remember to use those masks um, and stay safe out there. Um, we've got some Halloween guidance coming up. Halloween seems like a really long time away. It's a few weeks away, so the guidance could change. But uh, we'll, we'll run that out today. The CDC is um, you know, really trying to warn people that handing candy hand-to-hand -hand is not a good idea. So we've got a recommendation from the CDC. Our, uh, you know, some precautions from the CDC that say that one way trick or treating is the best way to go where you can put some, put some candy kind of maybe at the end of your yard, end of your driveway and as a family go around and trick or treat, but not be having close contact with, uh, with your neighbors. So we'll get that out uh, today and uh, the team will post the friends of the poor um, com uh, events coming up. Um, they announced the Thanksgiving dinner coming up uh, next month, which we're all very excited about. That'll be a drive through. And we're always appreciative of friends of the poor and everything that they do. So um, I'm going to get back to it. But again, a, a huge thanks to the Scranton Fire Department, uh, Chief John Judge, and everybody who made today possible. Um, it's an incredible experience, and I appreciate um, the firefighters for everything that they do every day. It's um, it's just it's just incredible. And now I now I've really seen firsthand uh, what it's like. So thank you, everybody. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Um, and other questions that you have, you can always email us at Scranton three one one at scrantonpa.gov. Um, so we'll see you next week and uh, be well.